part two. Now the next page. What is this creature? Children see in this picture you can see a creature. Right? There is a girl and there is a creature. What is the creature? What is the name of this creature? Okay? And the next question is what is it doing? See, if you look at the picture carefully, in this picture, this creature is trying to move from one place to another. So what is it doing? Now this creature to move from one place to another needs to crawl. This creature needs to crawl. Okay? Now children, let's look at this picture carefully and answer the following question. First question. What are these? Again, over here also you can see some creatures. Right? What are they? What is the name of that creature? Now the next question is, where are they? Where are they? Which place is it? Where? And the next question is, what does the child want to do? What does the child want to do? Okay? Now, again over here, if you can see, if you see carefully and closely, this creature is also moving from one place to another. Now, this creature to move from one place to another needs to leap. What does it need to do? It needs to leap. It's not jump. It's not hop. It is leap. Okay, children? Moving to the next page. Do you know what this is? Again, in this picture, there is a creature. Do you know what the name of this creature is? Let me help you. The name of this creature is called snail. This creature is called snail. This creature is mainly seen in the monsoon time, in the monsoon season. You can also say that it is a monsoon creature. Okay? What is the child doing? What is the child doing? Look at this picture and tell me how snails move. Again, if you look carefully in this picture also, the snails are moving from one place to another. And how do they move? They don't walk. They don't, uh, they don't leap, they don't jump, they crawl. What do they do? They crawl. Snails crawl. Yeah. Now children, moving to the next page. First question. What are the crickets doing? See, the insects in this picture are called crickets and they are doing something. Okay? So try and guess what, try and answer what the crickets are doing. If you want help, let me help you. Come on. So as you can see children, the crickets are, see they are trying to uh, rub their hands. They are trying to do something with their hands. Can you see? Okay, so when a cricket makes sound, the sound that comes out is by rubbing of the feet and hands of the cricket. So that is what the crickets are trying to do. Next question. What does the child wish to do with them? What does the child wish to do with them? Now looking at this picture, what do you think the child wants to do with the crickets? Okay? And the last question for this page. Where is the child now? Where is the child now? Children, now coming to the last page of this wonderful story. Okay, the questions are, where is the child sleeping? The child is now tired after jumping, hopping, leaping, crawling. Okay, now she is tired. So now where is she sleeping? What is she sleeping on? Okay, and the next question is, if you were smaller, which flower would you sleep on and why? I will repeat this question and I will explain it to you. If you were smaller, supposing if you were small, much smaller, you know that you could fit anywhere, which flower would you like to sleep on? You would like, you must be having a favorite flower. Which flower would you like to sleep on and why? Why you want to sleep on that flower? Okay? So children, with this we come to the end of the story. I hope you have enjoyed the session. I also hope you were able to answer almost all the questions to the person who is assisting you. Okay? Till we meet again, continue to read and keep practicing. Bye children. Take care.